how is it fair for an individual living in the UK already contributing towards NHS be asked to pay for the same NHS surcharge just because that person wants to renew his leave to remain visa? Mr. Speaker, every Thursday we go out and clap for our carers. Many of them are risking their lives for the sakes of all of us. Does the Prime Minister think that it's right that care workers coming from abroad and working on our front line should have to pay a surcharge of hundreds, sometimes thousands of pounds, to use the NHS themselves? Prime Minister. Well, uh, Mr Speaker, I thought a great deal about this, and I, I, I do accept and I do understand the difficulties faced by uh, our amazing NHS staff, and uh, like him, I've been a personal beneficiary of uh, people who've come from, uh, carers who've come from abroad and, and frankly, saved my life. Uh, so uh, I know exactly the importance of, of what he says. But on the other hand, we must look at the realities that this is a, a, a great national service, it's a national institution, it needs funding, and those contributions actually help us to raise about £900 million and uh, it, it's very easy, uh, very difficult in the current circumstances to find alternative sources. So with, with great respect to the point that he makes, I do think that that is the right way forward. The Prime Minister has asked the Home Secretary and I to work on how we can remove NHS and care workers from the NHS surcharge as soon as possible and I'm very pleased to uh, be able to do that. I've already spoken to the Home Secretary and we'll be saying more on how we do this in the next few days. Um, the Prime Minister has uh, clearly himself been a beneficiary of carers from abroad. Welcome back to my channel. This is your boy Augustine. Please subscribe to my channel to become part of the community and click the bell button to get notification when next I upload a new video. As you can see from the video we watched, the NHS fee is scrapped for overseas health and care workers only. So this is a good news, but this is not a complete good news. So it will be a good news when this hostile policy is scrapped to every applicant in the UK. But for now, let me explain to us what this NHS fee or immigration health of charge is all about. Funny enough, according to Prime Minister, he said that the government, the Conservative government, generates £900 million every year. I call this a ripoff because these people are basically contributing to the NHS and you are taxing them, you are double charging them for using NHS. Most of them don't even use NHS. Let's go into details. This NHS fee, sometimes we call it immigration health surcharge. For non-EU migrants, it is an additional fee. Without this payment, someone's application will not be valid. This is a hostile immigration policy introduced in 2015 by Theresa May just to make the life in the UK unlivable for non-EU British residents. According to this policy originally, this surcharge was meant to, you know, deal with the issues of medical tourism, which means if you are coming into the UK as a tourist or if you are coming into the UK as a visitor and your visa is above six months, this is when you are meant to pay this money. Once this health surcharge is paid, individual is entitled to use the NHS in a similar way to UK residents. So I want us to highlight this word, UK residents. So UK residents are everyone living and working in the UK, not only British and not only EU. But in practical, at the implementation stage, the reverse is the case because UK residents, people living in the UK and working in the UK, for the fact that they are not British citizens or they are not EU citizens. They pay this money each time they want to renew their visa or they want to apply for a new visa. Even though they are working full time and they contribute towards national insurance, for every time a non-EU UK resident is renewing their visa, 
they pay a minimum of 2500 per person 1005 for a visa fee a minimum visa fee then the so-called healthcare surcharge, which is usually 1,000. Families who are on leave to remain visa, who either works full-time or on self-employment, contributes towards the NHS. This NI contribution basically goes to NHS. So what are we talking about? When a UK resident work, either British, EU, or non-British, non-EU residents, check the pay slip you will see that person's national insurance contribution deduction. And if the individual is self-employed, after every financial year, they do file a self-employment assessment. And why they are doing this, they pay national insurance contribution. And this money basically goes to the NHS. How is it fair for an individual living in the UK already contributing towards NHS be asked to pay for the same NHS surcharge just because that person wants to renew his leave to remain visa. A family of five trying to renew their leave to remain basically will pay over 12,500, which is 2,500 per person. This money is more than enough towards a down payment of a mortgage in the UK. I will understand if you ask individuals coming in for the first time to pay this money as a one-off payment and when they want to renew their visa they won't have to pay it hence they are contributing towards the nhs already just like every other resident funny enough they want to even increase this money to over 600 a year this is madness i've got friends living in canada living in australia even in other part of eu countries they've never paid for application fees so high like people living in the uk each time a resident is renewing his or her visa they pay minimum of 2500 and you say this is fair but when an eu citizen is renewing his or her uk papers they only pay 70 pounds and this 70 pounds is classified as service fee and when a non-eu citizen is applying they pay more than 2500 this is pure discrimination let's just face the fact and these people also contribute to the economy and you are double charging them they pay towards the ni just like the labor leader each time these people pay this money they work more than 70 hours per week just to meet up just to make sure that this money is paid another hostile policy that Theresa May introduced was the financial threshold of 18,600 for every British spouse to meet before they can sponsor a non-British spouse. Basically, what you are saying, someone who doesn't earn 18,600 should not fall in love. Somebody who doesn't earn 18,600 should never try think of marrying a non-British person. This particular policy has done more harm than good. This policy separates families. This policy separates kids from their parents. This policy makes life a living hell for both British and non-British families. Anyway, I'll be doing a new video concerning this. Thank you very much and peace.